Hi, I'm Sabrina Moni. I'm Alex Monin. And I'm Christina Di Robertis. And we're the new grads on 7 West. And our project this year is focused on reducing central line infections on our unit. So we made a video demonstrating a sterile dressing change and cap change for you. So please enjoy. We needed to get sterile central line dressing kit, Tegaderm, normal saline syringe, CVC cap, Kuros caps, 2x2 two two gauze, alcohol swabs. First, clear your work surface and then wipe down with a disinfected cloth and allow to dry. Remember to use a stable surface and not your patient's bed. First, perform hand hygiene and don clean gloves. If you're already wearing gloves related to isolation or other procedures, remove them, perform hand hygiene again, and don new gloves. Next, you apply a mask to the patient or ask them to turn their head away from the catheter site. Then you don a mask for yourself as well. Then you open your supplies on a clean, stable work surface, maintaining their sterility. Then, next thing you're going to do is remove the dressing. Once the dressing is removed, you could dispose of it in a waste container. Then you remove your gloves and you dispose in a waste container as well. Perform hand hygiene again and then don your sterile gloves. Next, pinch the wings on the chlorhexidine applicator to saturate the sponge. Using a back and forth motion, Clean the area approximately 2 inches around the catheter exit site for 30 seconds. Allow the area to air dry for 30 seconds. Do not blot, fan, or wipe away any solution. Once the area is completely dry, apply skin prep and allow the solution to dry. Then, you apply the sterile occlusive dressing. Tegaderm needs to be changed every seven days or if soiled. Gauze dressing needs to be changed every two days or if soiled. Lastly, date, time, and initial your dressing. And now we're going to demonstrate a CVC cap change. First, you're going to perform hand hygiene and then don your clean gloves. Prime your cap with a normal saline syringe. Open up the packages for your gauze and alcohol swap sticks. Now scrub the connection between catheter and cap outward in a circular fashion using one alcohol swap stick for 15 seconds. Extend the cleansed area approximately one inch on either side of the junction. Now clamp the line and with sterile gauze wrapped around both sides of the junction, remove the CVC cap from the hub. Connect the hub to new primed cap or IV tubing. Unclamp, flush, and then apply new Kuros cap. Remove gloves and perform hand hygiene.